Hey gang, I got an offer for you today from LinkedIn. As business-to-business marketers, your needs are unique. B2B buying cycles are long and your customers face incredibly complex decisions. Isn't it time you had a marketing platform built specifically for you? LinkedIn ads empower marketers with solutions for you and your customers. LinkedIn ads allow you to build the right relationships, drive results, and reach your customers in a respectful environment. On LinkedIn, you have direct access to build relationships with decision makers. Of the 875 million users on the network, 180 million are senior level executives, 10 million are C-level executives. You will also be able to drive results with targeting and measuring with their tools built specifically for B2B. And best of all, they work. Audiences exposed to brand messages on LinkedIn are six times more likely to convert. LinkedIn ads also rank number one for security, community, and ad experience as part of the Business Insider's Digital Trust Study. Make B2B marketing everything you can be and get $100 credit. It's $100 credit on your next campaign. Go to linkedin.com slash MPN to claim your credit. It's linkedin.com slash MPN. P-N. Terms and conditions apply. Entrepreneurs Enigma is a podcast for the ups and downs of entrepreneurship, so the wins and the fails that we all face being entrepreneurs, and how we learn from adversity. Every week, I talk to a different entrepreneur with a story to tell. I'm Seth Goldstein. Come with me on the journey. This is Entrepreneurs Enigma. Let's get started. Hey everybody, it is Seth, the one, the only, and I'm still getting used to introing myself in on the music under underlaying me, so we'll get used to that eventually, but anyhow, um, welcome to another edition of the Entrepreneur's Enigma podcast. Today I have Alexis Scott, the fairy job mom, the one, the only. She is very prolific on LinkedIn, so you've probably seen her across your feed. She's a great entrepreneurial journey. Hello, Alexis. Hey, Seth. How's it going? Pretty good. So you're in Idaho. I am. I live in Boise, Idaho. Boise, Idaho. Pretty much where everyone is in Idaho. It is the capital. Yeah. <laughs> but but isn't, is, there, isn't there a lot of like, mountains and potatoes? Well, Boise yeah, is a valley, so we are surrounded by mountains. Um, Ooh, and that's there gorgeous. are a crap ton of potatoes here in Idaho. And I will say, they are the best potatoes I've ever eaten. They are really good. I have to admit, I, the Idaho potatoes don't disappoint. That's right. Exactly. So you are the fairy job mom. I love that name. It's 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 catchy. It and is. you even you even get the domain name. So that kind of means it's the real deal. Because if you if you come up with a clever name like that and you're like, the domain name's free, oh jump on that. Oh my god, absolutely. Yeah. It was available. I think I paid two ninety nine. So it Isn't was it really maybe one ninety nine. I don't know. Cheap. It's available and it's cheap. Yeah. You get them and they're like, oh, that's a good name. We're going to charge you $2,000 for it. And, and then it renews that one ninety nine the next year. It's like, well, no. so there is another project that I am potentially working on. And I went to look up the domain yesterday, $24,999. And it could be mine. Uh, and then it renews at what, like five bucks? I don't even know. Yeah, but that, yeah definitely like not not on budget with that one. <laughs> no, but you can always get dot co or dot you know tech or dot whatever. That's what the beauty of them opening up the, the the suffixes. So yeah. So you until recently, this was a, a five to nine hustle. This was your yeah. side hustle. And well, for one were, week. For, for one week. week, it was my side hustle. Oh <laughs> it really? Was that it was that quick turnaround? Now, you, I you, yeah. It was my five to nine unofficial. Yes, so for a very long time, for years, um, yeah. and then it became official for one whole week, and then it became my nine to five. <laughs> yeah, because I never understood employers who don't like people who have side hustles. Like, who cares? As long as they get their job done, who the heck cares? Like, seriously, who cares? Get your job done. You get my job done. You're in your off time. You can do whatever the heck you want. Like, well, I think you know there is also a challenge when you employ someone who has a strong personal brand Mm. on LinkedIn. And if the expectation is for that person to give you their brand while they work for your company, that becomes a challenge when said person wants to do something on their own, even if it is not in competition, not in conflict, not during the same hours, not completely, totally separate. Um, 
That's I believe that can cause some challenges. So, you know, and being it did, so. <laughs> public about everything yeah. is a double-edged sword. You know, it is, it's tough. And yeah. there is reward and you just kind of have to weigh and see like what is most important to you. Yeah. And honestly, I think it was a blessing in disguise because now you're just like, all right, I'm going to roll with this. Like, okay. Oh, yeah. Like it made it your hustle. Let a fire under your took us and yes. you ran with it. And, and, we, and, I, and I've been loving watching it because it's been so long since I've like had that, like the scrappiness. I'm still scrappy, but like, like really just starting out and I'm like, I remember that. <laughs> oh, that was fun. I missed that. That kind of thing. So, so, so the fairy job mom, for people who don't know what the heck we're talking about, you do resume reviews, job search, that, 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 that can speak job search strategy, personal branding. So you show people how to do what you're doing and you know, which is kind of, you really, I mean, it's it's like a master class. Just watch Alexis on, on LinkedIn. I mean, you, you've ma- I mean, you literally have mastered LinkedIn. Like, I don't. I mean, I don't know. I don't know that anyone can truly master LinkedIn. Yeah, it's, there's the algorithm. With yeah. Algorithm and you know this, that, and the other. But as far as mastering how to leverage LinkedIn and build community and relationships, mm-hmm. yes, I would say I am at expert level on that. That's awesome, and it's fun to see someone who's. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it in public. And you're doing it in public, like you, your wins, yes. your losses. Just yesterday, which is coming out a little while after the live stream is, but yesterday, as of the live stream, you said like you, you were hit with imposter syndrome. I oh, mean, yeah. 15 years in, I still get that, but like, yeah, it's like, wait, I'm doing what? And people care about what I'm doing. Like, it, imposter syndrome is real. And then you had a great solution to it, too. So, well, this is not my first rodeo. I am. Yeah. Officially, actually, I am middle aged. Shockingly, right? Isn't I turned it forty. Scary when, it's, when it sneaks up on you, doesn't it? It sneaks up on you. I'm I turned, forty. Yeah, I'm just... I, turned, I turned forty in February, which was actually a really amazing turning point for me. Yeah, forty is um, not that bad. Middle- thirty was yeah. worse. I feel like thirty was worse. So I was like, uh, I was out in my twenties, and thirties were like, oh, I don't know what to expect. I'm a third dead. All that kind of bad stuff. I'm not turning forty two in like f- next Thursday, and I'm like, eh, it's another day. Yeah. Whatever, oh, so. I don't feel that way. I love to celebrate. Like I celebrate well, everything that I possibly can. So if it's my birthday, everyone in the world is going to know about it and we're going to oh, celebrate. Your kids must love you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're going to take a quick break here from our sponsors and get right back to the show. Support for Entrepreneurs Enigma and the shows in the Marketing Podcast Network is provided by Active Campaign. If you're looking for a way to grow your business, you need to check out Active Campaign. It's a powerful marketing automation platform that can help you increase your sales improve your customer service, and build stronger relationships with your customers. With Active Campaign, you can create and send email campaigns, manage your leads and customers, create landing pages, set up automated workflows, and track results. All on one approachable platform. Active Campaign has more than 10,000 five-star reviews in G2 from happy users. Preview Me is one. They're a B2B software company that uses Active Campaign to send their prospective customers highly visual and personalized emails as they progress through the CRM stages, such as completing a demo. This has increased their click through rate 96%. If you're serious about growing your business, you gotta check out Active Campaign. Try it today for free and see how it can help you achieve your goals. Now, for a limited time, Active Campaign is offering you, the listeners of Entrepreneurs Enigma, a chance to double your contacts for free when you sign up at activecampaign.com slash activate. That means if your email list is 10,000 contacts, you only need to pay for 5,000. Or you can pay for 10,000 and get an extra 10,000 totally free. Personalize your customer experience. Do it with automation. Like the 185,000 businesses that have an active campaign. Go to activecampaign.com slash activate to sign up today. Activecampaign.com slash activate. Terms and conditions apply. <laughs> totally. But, you know, turning 40 was a, a big <laughs> milestone for me in the sense of I did shed a lot of people's like expectations. I say there's an mm-hmm. analogy, right? Like we all walk around and we have a, uh, can I swear on this thing? Oh, you can swear as much as you want. Okay. Well, we have a fuck bucket, right? Yes. And like when we are younger, that fuck bucket is so full of fucks. Yeah. We give fucks about everything <laughs> we care. And we are so worried about other people and what they think about us. And as we get older, 
we start dropping the fox. And as you're yeah. younger, you, you, you know, you immediately, you're spry, you pick them back up and put them back in your bucket. And that bucket is heavy. The weight of other people's oh, expectations horrible. and judgment is very, very heavy. So the bucket is heavy. It's hard. And then as you get older, you start to not pick up the fox as you drop them. <laughs> it's kind of true. And yeah. that bucket gets lighter. And it's, it's just, I feel that in my soul of like, I don't care anymore. Yeah. right about certain things mm -hmm. and as i mature and start to really logically look at why i feel a certain way it becomes a lot easier to navigate than previously so when i turned 40 it was like i don't even do i even need a bucket i do still have a bucket right as yesterday yeah, it's was, hard to, it's hard to avoid the bucket right and avoid but the box. <laughs> with that said yeah. my bucket's a lot lighter that's fantastic and that I think is why I was so confused yesterday when I woke up and I just felt heavy. I felt like mm. imposter syndrome, I think is the best way to put it. I knew what I was feeling. I knew what was happening and I also knew how to navigate it and how to take myself out of that. And I was very intentional with what I did yesterday mm. and who I spoke to and what I spoke about. Today, I'm fine. I'm back on track. We're ready to move, ready to rock and roll. Ready I've got roll. Exactly. a podcast yeah. today, very exciting Ooh. day. And yeah. yeah, so I'm ready to rock and roll, but I don't care how old you are. I think that imposter syndrome will creep in. I don't know what the statistic is, but I think everyone has felt it at least some point in their life, like 100%. Well, I'm sure Bezos has too. I'm sure even Jeff Bezos has. Elon, I'm not sure if he feels anything. We'll leave that one alone. <laughs> like, I think he's a freaking robot, but you know. Yeah. But um, so definitely. So you're doing a great job, mom. And. What is the best thing about being an entrepreneur now that it's your main hustle? I think the freedom to truly be myself and speak about what I'm really passionate about. That mm -hmm. is the bonus of starting a business in something that I love. Like I, I remember there's a woman named Larissa Haynes and she, mm -hmm. and I met on LinkedIn and a long time ago, we had a conversation and she told me to follow my fascination. Ooh, and I like that. Yeah, she's amazing. Amazing woman. I haven't forgotten that conversation. And it takes time and reflection and what have you to kind of iterate and figure out what that looks like from a business perspective. Mm -hmm. The question that followed that was like, what is it that you can talk about forever? Like you, they, they put you in a room in a party. Yeah. And I am the person in the room and in the party that wants to talk about the job market and about LinkedIn. And people are looking mm -hmm. at me like I'm nuts, but I will say <laughs> I, went to a party. I went to a party a couple of weeks ago and the girl was, um, she owned like a social media agency. And so she oh. and I jammed, it was great. It we was talked fun, yeah. so much about business, which is not normal, uh, yeah. for a birthday party, but you know, hey, this is something that go. I am passionate about. And it's something that I talk about all the time. And it's something that I feel very confident in the fact that I can teach others how to learn and grow and be better in. Yeah. Um, and so that's kind of the magical potion for doing something you really love. And, you know, unfortunately, in the role previous to this, I wasn't doing something I really loved. Yeah. And so it's just been such a nice transition to, like, feel that weight lifted off of me and freedom and like, OK, I'm I, you know, it's it's sink or swim right mm -hmm. it could go really well or it could go really wrong but i answer to myself so that, that's it's, really it's scary too the to answer to yes, yourself very but, much so <laughs> yeah and that's actually the flip question what keeps you up at night with being an entrepreneur um i would say money keeps me up at yeah. night i you know i didn't anticipate not having a runway i didn't anticipate doing this for one week and then all of a sudden this is my full-time job Surprise! so that has been in <laughs> Gary. Um, yeah. But with that said, you know, I believe that this is what I'm meant to be doing. So Love I just it. keep reminding myself that like Rome wasn't built in a day, just keep going. I'm seeing growth, which is amazing. Yeah. And I'm only in month three of this business. So that's um, awesome. No, month three, March, April, May. Yeah, month three. Um, <laughs> so, you know, it's, the all signs are pointing to this was a good idea. Yeah. Now, what this grows into or morphs into, I don't know. I'm trying to be really open minded and listen to what people are telling me as far as like yeah. needs of theirs. Like, I started out with this really being focused on job seeking. Um, and I've recently gotten inquiries more on personal branding like, hey, yeah. can you teach me how to brand myself? So I'm like, okay. 
am I off base? Like maybe I need to shift my offering. You know, I'm, I'm trying to just be open. Yeah, you have to be. I mean, especially, you know, being, I've pivoted so many times. I've pivoted and kept the old pivot, like kept the stuff that, you know, I've added, I haven't even pivoted. I've added stuff. Yes. For better or for worse. I've added more features. I've added more stuff I do to the whole repertoire of sorts. But um, overall, I mean, you have to be open to change. I mean, that's how you survive in this world. So, and with that in mind, what is the most important thing to carry with you all the time? My phone. <laughs> Well, hey, when you're doing when you're doing your on social media, you're on LinkedIn, and you need to post. That's that's key. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that was the, the answer you were looking for, but I mean, you can go as deep as you want. You can do whatever you want with that question. No, I'm gonna stick with my phone. <laughs> <laughs> you can phone. do all the things. It's a magical computer that's the size of a brick. <laughs> Isn't that incredible that when we were kids, like this is it was it was, it was like that, that, I couldn't even fathom that. That the oh my gosh. we had when oh. we were kids that would like can now fit in our palms. Well, it's so funny because my son is 13. He's almost 14. Oh, and we had a situation <laughs> a couple weeks ago where yeah. he was illegally on his phone in the middle of the night talking to a girl and he got Ooh. busted. Uh -oh. And my mom was in town visiting and she's like, you know. Him talking to the girl on the phone. I mean, we all did that. You did that. Yeah. You know, I did that as a kid or it's whatever. Some rules are rules, you know? Well, no. And she's like, the bigger issue is that he knew he wasn't supposed to be doing it, whatever, you know? So we had this whole conversation. And then I think back to when I was 13. And mm -hmm. I think back to me thinking that surely my parents couldn't hear me on this landline oh, that I had yeah. to rug through the house, you know? Oh, I actually. <laughs> I, at that point, I think it was cordless. I'm not that old. We did have a landline. No, I was to say, I'm like, yeah, that, that's a, that, I'm not even that old. So I don't, you're 40, so I don't think you had to drag but the wire. So. How many times did your parents get on the phone and say, get off the phone? From All another, the time. another All the time. you know, headset or whatever. And I'm like going, oh my God, this is so funny. That or now, they didn't, and they were just listening. Pro they probably were. I don't even yeah. know. It's Technology is amazing. And our kids have no clue what it's like to not have it. Oh, my kid, he, he gets so frustrated when I'm like, time's up, and I end his computer. And he's like, right. oh, and he's 10. And he wants to be a gamer. He's like, Dad, I was in the middle of a video. I'm like, well, you should time things better. I said, you right. had two hours. You time yourself, buddy. <laughs> that is funny. Oh, it's so fun. Kids nowadays, I feel so, now I feel like an old fogey. Kids right. nowadays don't know what it's like to walk five miles in the snow, that kind of thing. So, Yeah, but you but know what? Fun. We can I keep up with it. you. Though. Yeah. What they do know how to do is find information. And yes. that's what I have learned from my son because he, I say, I joke that he like graduated with honors from YouTube university because <laughs> he will spit out random stuff. Like one day he started talking about Gary V and I like my head whipped around so fast and I'm like, I'm sorry, what did you say to me? And he's like, yeah, Gary V he said da da da. And I'm like, okay, how do you know who Gary V is? And he's like, oh, YouTube. And I'm like, oh, oh my God, like, he's 13. So at least he's watching interesting stuff or he'll spit out like random facts about oh, the world, oh, about God. economy, about government. And I'm like, okay, I mean, I'm Did kind you of that in school or on, on YouTube. Like, you don't know no, where it YouTube. came from. Yeah. YouTube. It's hilarious. That's it's hilarious. amazing. So, yeah. you know, kudos to whatever generation that is. A, A, A B, C, D, D, F, G, L, M, N, L, P at this he, point. He I don't A. know. He might be A, a? or or a bottom of Z. I think that's what that okay. is. Okay. He's uh, 19, not 19, 2009. All right. So he's probably A. Whatever. The, okay. we, we, we started at X. I don't know why we started at X if we started lettering things. Then we skipped <laughs> over. The Y was millennial, which is us. And it's like, why aren't we Y? And then we go to Z because we got we stop being creative again. I don't know. It's weird. Okay. Anyhow, so so All let's, I know is he's yeah. smart. He's smart. They're smarter than us, and they and they know it. Right. So, Alexis, where can people find you? Obviously, the fairyjobmom.com, which is a, a yes. marvelous website. Love it. Also, we'll put this up there too. You're on LinkedIn, of course. I mean, that, is that is that your main watering hole? I mean, I know I follow you on Instagram as well, but it's, it's LinkedIn really like your jam. Yeah, LinkedIn is my jam. LinkedIn is where I spend, you know, when I'm not in meetings or podcasts or what have you, um, 
I am on LinkedIn, building that community and being social and friendly yeah. and meeting people. And it's great because you can connect with people like I'm in Philly, you're in Idaho. Like it's like this is wild the technology you can do nowadays. It is. So. And I will tell you that if you are able to connect with people who value that connection, mm -hmm. those relationships mm -hmm. become real friendships. Like some of my closest friends I met on LinkedIn. And it's really funny. My husband is very anti social media. Like he doesn't, <laughs> he looks at nerd, it. He doesn't like it. one of those. Yeah. Yes. And at first, my LinkedIn time was extensive i mean still extensive but he was like what are you doing like honestly <laughs> what are you doing right now? this is I ridiculous and now that he has seen my career transform because of my time on linkedin mm -hmm. and the relationships that i've built with people on there he's all about it and he it's so funny is, to he, see on, his is he on linkedin no he's not on linkedin no but he's all about you being on linkedin living he's all, now he you. understands before he was like <laughs> what are you doing now he gets it. And now even it's so funny, you know, I'm like, yeah, I have two podcasts today. And he goes, he's like, oh, okay, good job, babe. Have fun, you know, go happy recording. Uh -huh. So it's just so funny. He's, he's learning like what this life <laughs> is like. It. He owned his own business. He was a business owner for over 20 years um, wow. and never at a desk. So to oh, him, this guy. is like just completely not his wheelhouse at all. I love it. So it's, it's fun to watch him figure it all out with me. <laughs> That's fun. And so you're Alexis J. Scott on LinkedIn, fairyjobmom.com on the interwebs. And then you can find, I, we can find you everywhere because. Yeah. So if cool. my uh, Instagram is the fairy job mom, that's the handle altogether. Oh, the fairy and you job got mom. that one too. Good job. And I captured yeah. the YouTube so no one could steal it. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> I haven't done so anything is, with it. No, that, that's a whole nother beast. Exactly. <laughs> right. So this has been so much fun. I'm so glad we finally got the chat and we'll see everyone next time. All right. Thanks, Seth. That was a great show. If you're enjoying Entrepreneurs Enigma, please review us in the podcast directory of your choice. Every review helps other podcast listeners find our show. If you're looking for other podcasts in the marketing space, look no further than the Marketing Podcast Network at marketingpodcasts.net. Media hopes you have enjoyed this episode. This podcast is one of the many great shows on the MPN Marketing Podcast Network. You may know you're listening to this show along the Marketing Podcast Network, but did you know there are other great shows on MPN to help your business? Christy Smallwood hosts a great podcast called Small Business Success Talk. Christy. Tell us what these fine folks will get out of listening. Well, you get the feeling of not being alone and building a small business. <laughs> My guests have shared their success stories, their biggest challenges, their best practices, the passion for what they do, and what success really means for them. It's a mix of mindset, heart, and how-tos for the small business community to learn from each other. Awesome. Where can people subscribe? You can go to smallbusinesssuccesstalk.biz, or you can find the show at marketingpodcasts.net, or you can search for small business success talk wherever you get your podcasts you heard her go subscribe this podcast is heard along the marketing podcast network for more great marketing podcasts visit marketingpodcasts.net